How to wipe your smartphone before selling or donating it? In real life, you never share with a stranger all your private information, your most profoundly held secrets. Well, in this day and age, with your smartphone storing every aspect of your quotidian life, you should be mindful of personal data security when it comes to disposing of your device. If you want to sell your old smartphone, it's important that all your sensitive data be wiped clean. Leaving personal details on your old phone can expose you to hackers or lead to humiliation. Follow these steps to wipe the device completely. Welcome back folks to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. We are doing fantastic today. I hope you are doing as marvelous as I am. If you are, go grab a cup of coffee or tea. <laughs> First, I want to say that you should really be paranoid about wiping your phone. Because as I said earlier, this is the repository of your life. Nowadays, everything is in the phone, right? So you want to wipe your phone. Now, it's harder than you think to securely delete cell phone data. A lot of people think, oh, you can just uh, remove the SIM card and that's it. No, no. If you want to wipe through your device, you have to do more than remove the SIM card and the micro SD card. Because taking out the SIM card simply disrupts communication with the network. Folks, let me repeat that. Taking out the SIM card simply disconnects you from the network. Smartphones are like portable PCs. The internal memory holds way more data than your old flip phone did. All right, and by data, I'm talking about social security numbers, bank account information, chat support documents, credit card account logins, and a host of other personal data. Now, how do you wipe your device? There are many things you can do to help minimize the risk before you sell or donate your mobile device. If you want to wipe your phone completely, here are some suggestions that we have collected from tens of experts. Back up the device before any procedure. Download a remote wiping app. This is very important. You have, if you go on uh, the internet, we don't want to name names here, but there are a lot of popular apps for wiping iPhones and Android devices. So you use a remote wiping app. You want to clear the internal memory. Follow the manual factory reset instructions get software that, among other things, include a SIM card lock. This is very important. You want to get a, so you want to get a program that includes a SIM card lock, among other, other things. Record your phone's unique ID number for future references. Now, for complete instructions on how to delete cell phone data by type, you want to follow the uh, this steps for iOS and this steps for wiping Android based devices. Be vigilant about your mobile security. Again, whether you're disposing of your phone or not, you want to you want to be vigilant at all times. All right. So now if you're like most people, you're likely not taking care of your mobile security like you're, you should. You should, you know, you want to start now by taking basic steps to protect the data on the phone before it even gets lost, stolen or you decide to place it on the great cloud, right? Let's say you get a, a secure pin, for instance, or you update your phone when security fixes are available. Where do you store that data? Okay, so if you take all the proper steps, you still have to do way more to make sure your data is not stolen or hacked into. You want to be prudent, especially if you use an outdated smartphone tablet or another mobile device, make sure that you are able to periodically, at least, download all the up, all the upgrades, right? So if Android, if, if Google releases a new upgrades or, you know, uh, Apple releases a new upgrade to their iOS operating system, it's always good to download the latest patches. All right. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. We are still having a conversation about how to wipe your smartphone before selling or donating it. 
now in the first step I, I told you how to wipe your phone right I told you why you should wipe your phone now now I want to really go into a nitty-gritty here here are the steps to wiping out your phone your iPhone back up your data not just your smartphone your iPhone so you want to back up your data there are two ways you can do this if you only want to back up your messages emails contacts you can do so on iCloud and that's the best that's the, the fastest way to do it now to select which apps you want or don't want to back up you go to your phone go to settings your name iCloud and then select them on their apps using iCloud now unfortunately if you want to back up your call logs you can only do so by using third-party software like you know you have one called iExplorer or, or iPhone backup extractor so to back up your information this is very simple also you gotta go to your phone settings of course your name iCloud and you have a section a subsection called iCloud backup and there you want to tap backup now now if you have say you have music photos or other documents that you like to keep the best way to do this is to sync your phone with iTunes you know iTunes has been around for 15 years It's great it's wonderful and this is the best way to do this so sync your iTunes with your phone right and if you want if you want a step-by-step -step guide go to the Apple go to Apple support page now let's say you have so if you have um, an Apple watch what do you do if you, if you have an Apple watch you want to unpair it from your device sign out and turn off the services like iMessage and the way to do this you go to settings again you know settings will be your you know the place to be settings messages and you want to switch off the iMessage option if you have another service like wallet and Apple Pay go to settings again tap wallet and Apple Pay click on your card and remove card if you have a service called find my phone feature go again to settings your name iCloud find my phone your Apple ID again settings your name you want to scroll down and you want to tap sign out and at that moment you'll be prompted to enter your password just enter your password and click sign out so a lot of the things that you need to do a lot of uh, the functionalities you need to use when wiping out your iPhone are found in the settings this is when you, you this is how you back up your data now sign out of apps that store it your you want to sign out of all apps storing your login details you know I'm talking about Gmail Facebook and make sure they don't retain those details a lot of folks make the mistake of not double checking you need to double check and make sure that the the the, the apps don't retail don't remember those details delete any safe passwords from your browsers remove your SIM card and restore your factory settings so you only restore the factory settings after backing up all these things you know all you know your your your, fixture, your, your pictures your photo your your videos everything now remove your device serial number from your Apple account profile and the best way to do this you got to go to Apple ID Apple.com you want to log into your account and scroll down to devices right so under devices you have all the devices under your name that are linked to your Apple ID so you want to click on the device you wish to sell or donate for that matter and click remove so this is the officially the last step that allows you to wipe out your iPhone I'll be right back right after this and I'll tell you how to wipe out your Android phone don't go away Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. We're still having a conversation today about how to wipe out your smartphone before selling or donating it. If you love the content, clarity, and quality so far, I, I beg you, I, I bow before you, and I say, please, 
subscribe to our channel turn on the notification bell we just drop beautiful gems like this every single day rain or shine comment below let us know if, if there are other ways to wipe out you know data on a phone share this content people need to know how to safeguard the privacy especially when uh, exchanging their phones or donating it now how what are the steps to wiping out your android start by backing up your data same thing as we did for the iphone to back up the data you go to settings systems backup and you switch on backup so your folders photos and files should now be secured in your google drive and you can upload this info on your new device right delete photos and files from the phone now if you have an android 8.1 or later your text messages will be backed up automatically now i'm not this is not true for your call log though so if you want a, a safer way to save your text messages and your call log you can use sms backup and restore this is a google app that will back everything up on your gmail account you also want to consider syncing your apps to your google accounts right so apps that are made by google will sync to your account automatically unless you manually turn the settings off some people find it better to turn it turn them off i recommend that you have it, to leave it automatic so you can sync you can sync those um your apps by going to settings users and accounts account sync and sync now now remember though that to sync other apps you'll have to check individual app settings and sync them manually i'm talking about those apps that were not made by google step two so step one was start by backing up your data right step two deactivate factory reset protection so you know if your android device came with a 5.0 lollipop or a later operating system your phone will have android device protection or factory reset protection you know frp you must deactivate otherwise the new owner of the phone won't be able to use your phone so you need to deactivate that all right if your phone came with an older operating system you can go to next settings so you will have to go to settings about device phone and software info if you want to do, to deactivate the frp the factory reset protection go to settings security or lock screen security go to the screen lock and turn it off this the third step is to log out of your google accounts you have to do this because otherwise again the 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 next owner of the phone will be able to log into your account and do mischiefs, right? Well, we don't want that. So you have to log out your Google account, go to settings, users and accounts, select your account and then click remove. Now, if you have a Samsung device, remove the accounts from your phone or tablets as well. Delete any saved passwords from your browsers. Remove your SIM card and any external storage. Encrypt your phone. Now, the, remember that an, an encryption is very important because a simple factory restore does not completely wipe all the data on your phone and this can be easily recovered. With the right tools, this can be easily recovered. So encrypted data means that even if the new owner of your device tries to restore your data, they won't be able to access it. So to encrypt your data, go to settings, security, encryptions, and credentials. Number seven, you want to upload dummy data. Now, if you want to add an extra layer of security, upload junk data on your phone and only then perform a factory reset, right? So you can upload a few video files and, or pictures or documents or any other data to fill your internal phone storage. So by doing that, you're able to restore the sensitive data you've already encrypted genuinely impossible reset your phone to its factory settings so go to settings backup and reset factory data reset all right and then remove the device from your google account this is the last important last but not at least this is an important step because you're you're able to completely severe ties with the phone so you had to you had to um your google accounts recently used device section 
to your go to your Google account recently used devices section. Once you log in, you'll be able to see which devices have connected to your account and a link to it. Find the phone you're selling or donating. Click on it and then click on remove. All right, this should do it, folks. All right. So here is here is a recap, a quick recap of today's conversation. To read to, to wipe your smartphone before selling or donating it, you first have to be very cognizant of why you should wipe your phone. You need to understand. You need to understand the safety risk. Once you do this, you want to find you want to follow the steps to wiping out your iPhone or you want to follow the steps to wiping out your Android phone. All right. Thank you so much for listening. I will see you next time. And until then, stay more.